Who was the dumbest person you ever met? How did you know? I had a guy at work tell me that Benjamin Franklin was the 100th president because he's on the $100 bill. She thought I was trying to trick her into believing that Adolf Hitler was real. I know a guy who thinks the special tea he drinks negates the negative health effects of his pack a day smoking habit. We hired a girl a couple years ago. I told her where the manager's office was her first day. Second day. She asked me where the manager's office was. So I walked her to the door. Third day. She asks me where it is again. Our manager chewed out the girl who trained our new recruit for not teaching the job properly. The trainer pulled out her phone and showed the manager a picture of the girl wearing the uniform backwards and said look at this. This is untrainable. New girl got fired about three weeks later for stealing the product because she thought she got it for free because she was an employee. I had a boss who told me that she never kept leftovers from a meal because that's how polio got started. I was working in a French company. We were working with a dev team in Vietnam on some IT project. The project manager they report to in HQ is French, they didn't like him and he knew it. The Vietnamese team did some great job. He wanted to find the correct words to congratulate them. Hoping to smoothen the future relationship. He sent that incredible thank you email. Asterisk when we see the quality of your work. We can only realize how sad it is that we lost you guys as a colony. Asterisk the French expats in the Vietnam office told me they were hiding in shame for a full week. I asked a temp at work to weigh a couple of lever arch files for postage. She came back and told me they were 65 kilograms. I asked if it were possible that it was 6. 5 kilograms but she insisted it wasn't. We argued about it for a good 5 minutes. It wasn't until I asked her how much she weighed, 59 kilograms, that it finally twigged that these two small folders couldn't possibly weigh more than her. My sister-in-law is an anti-vaxxer and believes her kid's cerebral palsy was caused by vaccines despite the kid being born with one-fourth of her brain physically missing. A friend that told me that drinking protein shakes means that my muscles are all fake and fat. He had just purchased a new, high-powered BB gun. We had just finished shooting it in the backyard when he points the barrel at my face and pulls the trigger several times. I tell him to stop being an idiot and he just laughs and says it's not loaded. Then the moron puts the barrel in his mouth and pop. Shoots a BB right through his tongue and into his uvula. I live in southern Spain. I once met a girl from the U. S. Who was here on some kind of exchange program. When I asked her how did she like Spain so far she said I'm loving it. I just don't know why the plane took so long to get here. I mean we are just a bit below Mexico. I don't know any the flight was so long. Then I told her that we were in Europe. And she didn't believe me. Her reply was Europe? It could be. Everyone speaks Spanish so we must be somewhere near Mexico for sure. She was in uni. I still don't know how or why. A girl in my sophomore year of high school who thought there were six months in a year. She was really nice. But very surprised and confused when we tried to set her right. A girl in my art class in high school thought there was just a part of a cow called meat when we explained meat is the muscles she freaked out and became vegetarian. One time my now ex-girlfriend was watching Mori Povich. One of those paternity test episodes with a classic you are not the father moment. And she turns to me and says if we ever have a baby and I found out I'm not the mother. I'll kill you. Thankfully we didn't end up reproducing. Was working at a grocery store over a decade ago. I wouldn't call the kid dumb. Because he just didn't know. It's more of a funny thing. He was new and the manager asked him to face the store when he asked what he could do. Facing means you make sure the aisles look nice and neat and that the product is pulled forward and visibly facing you as you walk down the aisle. The kid couldn't be found until someone told the manager one of the workers was just standing in the parking lot facing the store. I will never forget that. I was working retail at the time. And this lady walks in and asks me to tell her when it is quarter after 10 am. She needs to catch a bus. We were slow so I obliged. 10. 
15 a.m. rolls around and I tell her so she drops her stuff and runs out to get the bus. Five minutes later she comes back it's scowling. And she then lectures me on how to tell time. How much is a quarter? 25 cents. So why would you tell me a quarter after 108 is 10? 15 a. It's 10. 25 m. My ex-sister-in-law is hands down the dumbest person I've ever encountered. There's literally a plethora of ducking insanely stupid things she's said over the years. But I'll use the one that almost made me slap the taste out of her mouth. I had my my first son back in 2001 and while I was pregnant she asked me if I was going to breastfeed. To which I replied that I was. She then asked even if it's a girl. And I said of course. She then proceeded to tell me that it's perfectly fine to breastfeed boys but doing so with girls is creepy and could make the child a lesbian. Because they get the feel of a breast and will remember it and want that sexually. To say that I was stunned by her thought process is an understatement. I asked her what she thought people did before formula was invented and she said cow's milk. And before bottles were invented it was a rag soaked in cow's milk. Side note. She had three daughters and wouldn't allow her husband to change their diapers or bathe them. A friend of mine is a sweet guy but is overweight and balding and quite frankly. Not very attractive in the face. Well. One day he lets us know that he has met a girl and she might be the one. He's in his late twenties for reference. Well. I've met some of the jewels he's hooked up with in the past so I wasn't expecting too much. Finally meet this girl and she is drop dead gorgeous and has a body that is incredible. I talk to her for a while and she is super friendly and outgoing. I'm stoked for my boy. He found the best he's ever gonna find. Anyway. The night progresses and the new couple starts talking about their plans for an upcoming trip to New Mexico and she starts telling us how excited she is because she has never gone to another country before. I laughed a bit and realized she was dead serious. My friend just looked at me and shook his head and I knew that he knew. She was dumb as a ducking rock but she was his dumb ducking rock. For what it's worth, he helped her get her passport. Asterisk a worker of mine sent an email to our company's global mailing list. Asterisk our company has 5000 employees. Asterisk the email contained a 1 GB attachment. It shut down the backslash entire backslash company for a day. My former boss was worried that the island of Manhattan would sink with all the extra visitors for New Year's and the ball dropping. She thought islands float and when she found out that wasn't true she thought it was so funny that she told everyone the story. She was later fired for withholding a pay raise from someone on her team because he didn't accept her sexual advances. He had the texts to prove it. I'm late but. Car dashboard reads 40 miles to E my car says in 40 miles. We'll be going east. She had a mug from Disneyland with the name Ronald on it. She thought you just picked a mug of the name you like and not your actual ducking name. I remember a guy I knew in middle school who put money into a vending machine and then his item didn't come out. Then he put more money into the machine and two of the item he wanted came out. He then exclaimed alright. Two for one. White girl didn't think she could get pregnant because the guy was Mexican swear on my life worked with a lady who I convinced you could buy full-size dinosaurs online also believe Denzel Washington was the president when Obama was in office no lie while visiting the Lincoln Memorial I ran into an older couple discussing the inscription of the Gettysburg address on the walls the woman asked the man what this was in reference to and if it was about America and the man said something to the effect of no this couldn't be about America we never had any slaves here in our country. It must be about what happened in country X. These were two Americans. I was trying to leave my polling place after voting but couldn't go immediately because it was pouring outside. So I got into a little conversation with one of the people running the polls that day. Started talking about what I do, it's engineering why, and she said that that's such a useful skill to have. She asked that I use that knowledge to fix all the big problems in the country especially all the chemtrails. Try to explain condensation. But she still didn't want to accept that they weren't dangerous and she demanded they be eliminated. Propeller aircraft was not a viable suggestion. Nice lady. 
Just thick. Dang it. Late to the party. Anyway. I was a cook a few years ago and this particular busy night we ran out of lobster mac and cheese. This one waitress could not understand how this was possible and just kept nagging and nagging in disbelief. I got annoyed to the point that I told her the reason for this was that there was a shortage of people with small enough hands to milk lobster's tiny nipples. Hence a worldwide shortage of lobster milk to make that dish. I had to come clean with her when she started telling this to customers and they demanded to speak with a manager. My high school physics teacher he insisted that Canada was pronounced Canada because if they are Canadians. Then why isn't it Canadian? Years ago. I worked with a dude that made me genuinely wonder how he was still alive. He was not mentally ill. Just. Stupid. Went to a party at his place and he announced burgers would be done in just a few minutes. He hadn't even started the grill. They made big. Fat patties and I said dude. You know these will take like 15 minutes minimum to cook. Right. He said no problem. Last time they were raw in the middle. So I learned a trick. He poked out the middle of the patty like a donut. He finished cooking them in like 3 minutes on the grill. I stuck with chips. At work. We are talking about the economy, circa 2007 to 2008, and his solution was to have Congress pass a bill that nobody can raise their prices and then, dramatic pause, print more money. Dude was doing you was dating this girl a while back and we were going to dinner one night and talking about chicken cutlets or something and she was like I wonder what part of the cow it comes from. I literally was in such shock that this 30 year old woman with a master's degree just made such a ridiculous statement. Completely dumbfounded. Well you made it to the bottom of the thread and didn't see myself mentioned.